Frosty. Uh, an unfortunate one today, really, wasn't it? I mean, it was a great effort from the lads. I know we, we've shown last year and you were part of that squad mm-hmm. what we can do in the FA Cup. There might have been an opportunity of that today, but I guess Bradford, who are a good side challenging for promotion in League Two, came out and showed that in the second yeah. half, didn't they? Yeah, we knew this weren't going to be an easy game. I think first half we were superb, actually. I think, yeah, the end of that first half, we went in the changing room, definitely the happier of the two sides, and rightly so. A little bit change in shape, which I think suited us today. Um, gave a bit more like energy with me and Cam sort of pushing on a little bit and it, it worked for us I think we were very comfortable they would have gone in at half time definitely the team on the back foot and you know good teams come out second half and show that they're not going to stand for it any longer and they kind of put their authority on the game and then moments are what finished that game off really yeah you speak about moments there I mean it was you were a big part of that weren't you with, yeah. with rounding the keeper and just getting that too tight an angle to, to finish I mean talk us through that because it, it was a, a big moment yeah. in the game wasn't it obviously absolutely gutted personally I, I have to score I'll say that myself take that on the chin big moments like that define like seasons in a way and unfortunately I've not taken that one but and then you know they go the other end and score a fluke like an own goal sort of a lucky goal so yeah, I thought, you know, we won the ball high up the pitch. AJ did really well, put me through perfectly. I think I did the first two parts right, touch across the defender, second touch good, and then it was just the third touch around the keeper just got away from me. And then I still have to score. Like, I'll watch it back and, I, you know, I still have to score, but you've got to take it on the chin and, you know, move on. Maybe something I can learn from and, you know, get over maybe a little bit quicker. It took me probably 10, 15 minutes too long to get it out of my head. And in that moment, I still got to think we've got 30 minutes left in the game can I go and get another chance to score and yeah disappointing but we move <laughs> it's going to be tough though isn't it it's talking about split second decisions there mm-hmm. obviously as soon when you take that second touch and you see yeah. yourself through I mean mm-hmm. the keeper's rushing out to you you're thinking what do you do you decide to go around him and yeah it's, it's split second decisions it is, isn't it? Uh, definitely not something I've done a lot of probably in an order shot shirt where Stokesy when you need him in that <laughs> position but no definitely something I've got to improve on um if that's how we're going to maybe play going forward if it is I'll find myself in those positions a lot. I think I found myself in forward positions a lot more today than I have in previous games. Another role played, but I really enjoyed that one today. And I think as a team, we've got to take the positives on the first half because we were really dominant, I think. I think the shape we, we moved up as a team, we pressed as a team, is probably the best half of football, I think, on the pitch, it felt like, anyway, this season, in my opinion. Um, just got to try and you know the gaffer said when he came in we've just got to make sure we do that for 90 minutes of course good team come out and make sure that doesn't happen for another 45 minutes and credit to them by changing a little bit but we're definitely disappointed in ourselves and felt we were well and truly in that game the scoreline probably isn't a reflective of them running away with it yeah that. I think the tale of today's game is as you say mm-hmm. moments isn't mm-hmm. it not just for yourself but I guess for for mags and and for roles as well who yeah. in those in those goals but overall I think you lads can look back at it as a, yeah. a pretty good performance against we're, we're extremely disappointed but we will have to take the positives if if we can run like that play how we did in the first half we'll do well in the division this season we just got to take the positives from today and use them going forward because if we can play like that in the first half in in the league i'm sure we'll we'll start picking up some more points we just got to take the positives it's, it's disappointing right now i'm hurting i'm disappointed that we haven't won the game so i definitely think we could have won the game, mm. but we haven't. And now we just concentrate on the league now. One of those positives was Jack's goal, which was oh, a yeah. fantastically taken mm-hmm. goal, wasn't it? And, and that was a brilliant moment with the supporters mm-hmm. as well, wasn't and it? And again, Mags, we can't, I gave him credit at half-time. No one did. Um, was really aggressive on the striker, pinched the ball. Josh showed his quality, putting Jack in, and Jack showed his quality, cutting on his weak foot. Yeah. It was a really, really good goal. It's a bit of us, that. And we've just got to make sure we create more moments like that, that end rather than disappointing ones <laughs> yeah but it was a good good support from the fans yeah, today excellent. wasn't it I think the, the moment after the game um, clapping them off and then yeah. and you clapping them as well it was nice and it showed that you know that they're, they're still behind us and there's, there's good times to come yeah obviously yeah, I can understand why they're disappointed at the moment they're travelling their numbers every week away from home and we haven't maybe given them the results that they would want and that we'd want but they show up every away game in really good numbers for this division and you know clap us off every week when sometimes maybe we haven't deserved it so yeah, hats off to every single one of them that make the trip every week. Definitely these long ones up north and hopefully soon we can start giving them results away from home and they'll be going home a lot happier.